the crowd have gone nuts. There's 35,000 Swedish fans here. On the front row, pole position, Matthias Ekstrom. The two brand new Audi S1s have been very, very quick this weekend. It's played exactly to extra fans. Well, Ekstrom was so fast here last year. Of course, last year he was in a Mark Lampolo. He's now started his own team match. He's so enthusiastic. Ekstrom yesterday asked him in the press conference, can you win your first event with EKRS this weekend? He said, I think we can win any weekend and laughed. It was Jarnov gave him a funny look alongside him. But... The ideas came after I finished second in Holgers in Sweden in 2013. On my way home, I called my good old friend Janne, who is the technical director today, and asked if he would be interested. I think I more or less talked to him and said it would be nice to, to build a car together for you. And uh, as I understand it now, he already had the plans, so <laughs> we were thinking more or less the same. To a lot of people, rallycross is pretty new. Uh, for me, it's different. My father was a driver, so I grew up in the rallycross uh, paddock. I still never wanted to be a rallycross driver because I thought it's all dirty and the cars are crashing. So once I started and I did my first rallycross race, I realized that it's actually a perfect combination of circuit racing, rallying, but then a lot more power. The base of our car is the Audi S1 Quattro. It's brand new since March this year. When you watch the car, it looks quick. Now we ask them to make it quick. The project, you can say, really started serious in December. I will never forget when Janne said, every day DHL, TNT and the post is coming. So they has delivered parts every day regularly. And it was from a screwdriver to the most important part of the car. And uh, everybody started to feel, oh, it's tight. It's we're go going to be a busy year and probably was the most spectacular first race of my life with the team because the engine flew in with a helicopter. We slept three to four hours per day. It was a good start for the new EKS RX team. Surely we didn't win the first race, but we took part, we won two heats, so we achieved our first goal. So if I would sum up the first part of the season, I would say we had a bit more challenges than expected. We had a bit more overtime than planned. But I also have to say we had much better res results on the track than expected. He's going to get a win at home. It's around the left hand of the fireworks. Go off at the finish. Ekstrom's around the left hander. He takes the win. A brilliant, brilliant drive by the DTM champion. The weekend after Belgium, another final. So we could prove it was no luck in Sweden. So far, I have to say it was a very spectacular first six months. And I'm really looking forward to the second half now.